Now, you may be familiar with uh, many electrical appliances uh, around the home that use the unit of watts to indicate their power. And this is abbreviated with W. Now, if we look at uh, sound, um, if you look at the sound generated by something like a transducer, the power uh, that's emitted from the transducer spreads out as it travels away from the transducer over a certain area. And the further it goes uh, away from the transducer, the greater the area that power is spread out over. And so the units for um, uh, sound intensity turn out to be um, power, uh, units of power divided by area. And uh, the most common units used are either watts per square centimeter or milliwatts per square centimeter. Now, as sound is traveling through a type of tissue, um, often times, or pretty much all the time, that tissue will uh, absorb some of the sound energy. And so the intensity will decrease as it travels through the tissue. And uh, when we have a decrease in intensity, Um, that's referred to as attenuation. We also have the capability of, through electronics, of amplifying a signal. And so when you have an increase in intensity, that would be called amplification. Okay, so let's say that we have a signal that starts with the sound intensity at the transducer of one um, milliwatt per uh, square centimeter. And after it travels through a certain amount of tissue, that sound will have decreased to 0.1 milliwatt per square centimeter. That's an attenuation of 10 times. So it's been attenuated by a factor of 10. Uh, uh, so it's or divided, by a, uh, divided by a factor of 10, or if you think of it as multiplying it, multiplied by a factor of 1 tenth. So the, the final signal is 1 tenth what the original uh, signal intensity was. Now, uh, one of the units for comparing relative intensities of sound, the unit for comparing that is called the Bell. It's written as capital B-E-L, and it's named after Alexander Graham Bell, uh, the inventor of the telephone. And um, every time you have a tenfold increase in the signal, if it's ten times bigger, that's said to be a one bell increase, plus one bell. If it's ten times smaller, or divide by ten, that's equal to a minus one bell change in the intensity of the sound. Now a bell is, is a pretty big unit, and it turns out that a more convenient unit is something called the decibel, which uses the metric prefix deca, which means one-tenth, and uh, it has the abbreviation just D, small lowercase d, and that's applied to um, the bell, 
and so that could either be decibel like this and if it's it's often written as uh, the abbreviation for the bell is just capital B so often you'll see it written like this decibel small d followed by a capital D now um, so let's look at that a little bit we could create a formula that would relate uh, if we're given a uh, let's say we're given a final intensity um, if we want to calculate some final intensity if we have an initial intensity of uh, some value and multiply that by 10 raised to the uh, power of the amount of the decibel change divided by 10 that's going to equal our final intensity. So let's say I have an initial tense intensity of 50 uh, milliwatts per square centimeter and I have a change in decibels of um, I want to increase that's going to uh, decrease let's say we have an attenuation of um, 10 decibels Okay. Now, since I say attenuation, I don't always have to put the negative sign in there. Oftentimes, that's assumed. So, if I say it's a 10 decibel attenuation, I'm assuming that's a negative symbol in there. So now I can plug in for my um, sound intensity, 50 milliwatts per square centimeter, and for decibels and the exponent of my power of 10, I'll plug in a negative. 10. So this is equal to 50 milliwatts per square centimeter times 10 raised to the uh, minus 10 over 10 uh, raised to the power of negative 10 over 10. Now negative 10 over 10 is the same as negative 1 and 10 to the negative 1 power Okay, is equal to one tenth, just point one. So this is equal to uh, 50 milliwatts per square centimeter times point one, and that's equal to five milliwatts per square centimeter. So a 10 decibel change will a negative 10 decibel change will result in um, dividing this by 10. Okay, well let's look at another example um, I want to look at and let's say I have a uh, 100 milliwatt intense signal centimeters squared and I'm multiplying by let's say I want to uh, decrease this by three decibels. So I have a change of negative three decibels. Okay, so this is going to be uh, negative three over ten. Um, and so that's 100 milliwatts per square centimeter times ten to the negative point three. And if I Bring this up. Okay, if I look at what 10 raised to the um, minus 0.3 is, that's equal to uh, times 100. That's equal to 50 milliwatts per square centimeter. Now if you notice this is a it's 50.118 but that's approximately one half of what the original intensity was. In fact every time you decrease it by a factor of three uh, decibels you'll c cut your intensity approximately in half. If you increase it by a factor of three it turns out you'll double it. So let's think of an amplification and uh, <clears throat> in this case I'm going to think of a uh, signal that's 
already a purely electrical signal, so I'll just have that one in watts. So let's say I have a, a signal of 20 uh, milliwatts of power, and I'm going to increase this by um, let's increase this by three decibels. Okay, so uh, my formula then becomes 10 to the uh, plus 3 over 10, and so that's uh, 20 milliwatts times 10 to the uh, 0.3, and let's look at that. So 10 raised to the 0.3 power, the 3 tenths power, is equal to 1.995, so that's very close to 2. One, this is equal to 1.995, so it would be similar to multiplying by, one, by nearly 2, so I'm going to multiply that times 20 uh, milliwatts, and it comes out to 39.9, or nearly 40, uh, 40 milliwatts. Okay, so you can see that um, the signal uh, anytime you use uh, a number of an increase of three decibels you essentially double the uh, signal intensity. Um, we could do the same thing so actually uh, some quick ways to do this let's say I have uh, if I have this can help you speed up your calculations if you're in a hurry let's say I have a signal intensity uh, sound intensity of 40 milliwatts per square centimeter and I'm going to do have six decibels of attenuation applied to this. So that's the same as six um, uh, minus six tenths but uh, I could go through the math here but really I know that for every three decibels it cuts in half so um, applying minus three decibels it goes to 20 milliwatts per square centimeter <clears throat> and then when I apply the next three decibels to come up to to get it all the way to six decibels it's down to 10 milliwatts per square centimeter. So uh, applying a negative six decibel attenuation to the signal is basically the same as dividing by four. If I take 40 milliwatts uh, per square centimeter and apply a negative six decibel attenuation to this it's equal to, I just divide by 4, 4 milliwatts per square centimeter.